Hello there guys, welcome back to another short online tutorial. It's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics here and today we are based in Adobe XD. The reason why we are here today guys is to discuss how do we create a hover effect in Adobe XD. What I'm going to do today is show you um, how to do a hover effect upon a button like design. And basically what it is is a great way to grab uh, users attention, it's a great way to direct people around your website, your app design really creating good UX uh, for the user experience. Now, it's very easy, and I'm gonna make it a lot clearer for you today on how to do it. The first thing I'm going to do is create a nice button-like shape. So I'm gonna use my rectangle here, and I'm gonna create a nice sort of rectangle shape. Like so I'm gonna round off the corners because I want a nice rounded radius on my button here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the fill but I want to add a border to it, okay? So I want to add a nice sort of dark blue border, let's say, fantastic. And I'm just going to increase the size of this to make it visible, fantastic. With my alignment tools, align it better on the page. Okay, now what I need to do is create some text. So I'm going to use our type tool here, and I'm going to use a font of Cocoa Goose, a favorite of mine. And let's write the word. Let's get started. Like so. so let's make this a little bit bigger. So if we come here, let's increase the size of it in our properties. Let's change the color of it. Like so. Perfect. And with my selection tool, I'm going to select both elements and align them better. Like so. And what we need to do, to, to do now, guys, we need to make these uh, two elements into a component. Okay. So if we select both of them and right click, you have make component, or as you can see, the shortcut is command K on Mac or control K on Windows. Fantastic. And now we've done that, what I'm gonna do is come to our component section here. Next is uh, this default state, we've got this plus sign, which now I'm gonna add a hover state, okay? Now, this is when you can change the design of the button to show you how you want it to appear when you hover over it. So what I want to do now is I want to apply a nice fill to our uh, button here. Let's say I'm going to change the color of the text by double clicking it. And let's make that into white. Perfect. Like so. So what we're going to do is we're going to change from a border into a fill button. Okay, if you select both elements, you can come back up here and you can see how the button and the hover state will react when you go live. And then what I'm going to do is come to our plus sign up here just to show you how it's come out. Fantastic. And now if we was to hover over, you can see I have created a hover effect within Adobe XD. If you're interested in finding out more about the school guys or anything like that, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also as well, take a look at our Instagram, Blue Sky Graphics UK, so for some of our amazing work by our um, really talented students. And also as well, guys, we have YouTube tutorials coming out on a weekly basis, ranging uh, across all many different softwares, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Adobe XD, Elementor. So please uh, check them out. Have a nice week, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.